At this point, I want to argue that act utilitarians have some resources for bringing up these questions. Right? That is, when we make a decision, right, we should always make it with a realistic assessment of our character and our knowledge. Right? So we, whenever we're deciding do, what should we do, right, we have to ask, are we able to reliably predict things like our ability to resist future temptation, our ability to calculate correctly, the effects, unintended effects on others, um, hidden motives right, that are being indulged or in some, to some extent unleashed, et cetera. Okay. So right, you could argue that those considerations are always large enough and uncertain enough and serious enough that they're always going to override the arguments in favor of torturing a person in every single case. Okay. So that is one of the ways that act utilitarians can defend their theory against this objection, is to say, look, when we go into it, we aren't just asking, well, what would we do if we had some hypothetically perfect set of calculations? We don't have those, and we never have those, and moreover, Few people, if any, have a completely realistic, accurate assessment of their own motivations and reasoning processes. Right? And so because of those concerns, right, and because of how serious the issue of torture is, right, there will always be more than enough reason to come down on the side of not taking the risk and torturing the person.